All right, you guys, so we check out how to make a Y2K logo here in Illustrator. And for the font, I'm gonna go with Planet Cosmos. As you can see, this one already looks like a Y2K typeface, but we're gonna customize this quite a bit. So right click on the text, create outlines. I'm gonna select the text, right click on group, and I'm gonna select the letter T, a right click, transform, reflect, and I'm gonna go with the horizontal, click OK. Actually, it doesn't really matter. So I'm thinking to make some improvements, which I basically usually saw on Y2K logos, and this angle is pretty good. Now let's go and select the eraser, press and hold alt and just drag it and check this out it is going to eliminate the upper area with a straight line i'm going to press and hold alt again remove the bottom part i'm also going to select the direct selection tool make it longer and this should go something like this and i'm going to select the rectangle and add another rectangle somewhere here and i'm going to select the direct selection tool and drag this anchor point right here do the same with these and i'm going to expand this more select both shapes press shift plus m or you can go and select the shape builder tool here now press and hold alt and remove these unnecessary parts so check this out it should look something like this and right now i'm going to unite this shape and this one right here press and hold shift let's go to the pathfinder click on unite and I'm going to make these areas around it. I'm going to press and hold shift. So these angles are the same. And I'm going to make it around it like that. And then this one separately. And then this. And I'm going to create a duplicate of this. Press and hold alt. Drag it. And I'm going to use this for other stuff. Now I'm going to select these shapes. Let's unite them. And now you can make it around it. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm also going to create a new copy of this. And just tilt it in this angle press shift plus M, press and hold all the delete. I'm gonna remove some of the shapes in here and then make it rounded. I'm thinking to replace the lower cap R with an upper cap R. So we're gonna to need to customize that from the letter P. Press and hold Alt, drag it, and I'm gonna remove the lower case. And now I'm gonna create a new duplicate here. I'm gonna bring these in, select both, unite. And here we're gonna to need to make this rounded. So I'm gonna select the rectangle and I'm gonna create a rectangle here, select both, unite, select the direct selection tool, select these anchor points. And I'm also gonna select these anchor points and just bring them in somewhere here. Delete anchor point tool, press and hold shift and click on this anchor point. So it's gonna remain curved. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select the straight anchor point and just make it curvy. I'm gonna repeat this process a couple of more times. And I think the customization is ready. It looks exactly like a hockey logo. I'm gonna select all the letters, a right click, group. Now we're gonna to need to create some nice sparkles. So I'm gonna select the rectangle, press and hold shift plus alt, press and hold shift to rotate 45 degree angles. Now let's go to the effect, distort and transform, pop it and bloat. We're gonna make a sparkle out of this, like so, click OK. We're also gonna offset it. Let's go to the appearance, click on effects. Let's go to path and select offset path. Go to the joints, select round and decrease the offset. I think I'm gonna go with this thickness, click OK. And I'm thinking to position it somewhere here. Now, as you can see, the text is tilted. So the star also has to be tilted. So what I gotta do is go to the effects. Let's go to distort and transform and select free distort. And here I'm just gonna pull these, press and hold shift, and make sure the angle is something like here at the letter R. So I'm thinking to tilt it like this much. Click OK, and let's see how it works. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt, create a new duplicate, scale it, and place it. Sweet! Now I'm gonna select both, go to object, expand appearance. Let's select all of it, right click, group. And now we're gonna offset this guy once again. Let's go to path, select offset path, and decrease it joins around it click ok now let's go to pathfinder click on unite and select right click on group so this one is going to be separate and i'm going to position it on the bottom right click arrange send to back select the top one recolor it as white now let's go and select the black stroke go to effect go to distort and transform transform i'm going to increase the copies Increase horizontal, I'm gonna go with one and vertical one as well. Add more copies to create a nice extrusion. Click OK, go to object, expand appearance, and click on unite at the pathfinder. Now but least we're gonna add those circle decorations. So I'm gonna select the ellipse and I'm gonna create a circle like this. Press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F, recolor it as white, press and hold Alt and just scale it. And I'm thinking to position it like this.
Sweet. Select both, right click, group, right click, arrange and send to back, scale it up and just to reposition it somewhere here in the background. I also going to select both and delete these parts, shift plus M, press and hold alt and remove. And that's how I made this custom Y2K logo here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.